In order to purchase hundreds of acres at once, the estate owners bought out dozens of small farmers and homeowners, usually for about $100 or $150 per acre. For instance, John Aldred, chairman of Gillette Safety Razors, and Rockefeller family lawyer William Guthrie acquired 400 acres in Laddingtown by purchasing the property of 60 families. They demolished not only the homes, but nearly all the original trees as well. A few acres of woods was good for privacy, but big tracts of dense forest were useless to the millionaires. How can you lord over land you can't even see? So they cleared picturesque vistas and hired expensive landscape architects to plant symmetrical gardens, stocked with non-native specimen trees like Colorado blue spruce and Douglas fir. The New York Times reporter who visited the Guthrie estate in 1903 was enraptured. On the Long Island shore of Long Island Sound, there lay several years ago a rolling strip of country unimproved, just as it had been for generations, with a few old-fashioned homesteads scattered here and there, and a mosquito-ridden pestiferous marsh at one side. Today, he who drives, rides, or walks over this corner of Long Island finds a tall iron fence a mile back from the Sound coastline, shutting those acres off. Where woods and forests stood, there are now cleared ground, smooth, beautiful squares, and panels of lawn. More beautiful squares and panels of lawn. More remarkable still, where there was bare hillside and uninteresting level, there are landscape pictures and vistas of mighty trees, arranged to give the most satisfactory effect. For the most part, the farmers were happy to sell. Land was expensive in New York, and it was becoming increasingly difficult to make a living as a farmer. Many were happy to cash out and move on. But even where selling was a practical choice, there was still simmering resentment between the locals and the millionaires. As an example, one of those old-fashioned Long Island homesteaders sold Guthrie every inch of his farm, except for a strip four feet wide by 100 feet long that just happened to be right in the center of the Guthrie estate. Although Guthrie was one of the country's most powerful lawyers, he didn't realize the mistake until one day the farmer returned to the estate, dismissed Guthrie's landscapers, and planted a crop of potatoes right in the middle of the garden. Guthrie, who was tightly wound at the best of times, was furious. He immediately tasked his entire law firm, from its head to its office boy, with securing the legal permissions to rip those potatoes right out of the ground. He quickly won a preliminary injunction and was eventually able to revise the deed. You can assume that the New York Times reporter didn't find a single potato in either the beautiful squares or the panels of lawn. 